Hello, yeah, group members. This is GC, and today I'm gonna be taking some pictures. Now, these pictures are paintings, acrylic paintings mainly on canvas. Now, an artist uh, writes me just the light because I'm not sure how to do this. So, he's not sure how to do this, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna um, go and uh, I'm gonna take two pictures, uh, some paintings that I have upstairs in the art room. Okay, John, so I got your back. I'm gonna go upstairs to the art room and we're gonna take some pictures. Now, I'm gonna be using some lights and I'm gonna be using a Canon DSLR T5, I believe. I'll go over the settings of the camera. All right, awesome. Let's take some pictures. Okay, yeah, group members. So I'm here in the art room, and as you can see, it's kind of messy in here. Well, there is a lot of stuff around. So first things first, uh, make sure you have everything cleared out of your way where you're gonna be taking your photos. Okay, uh, now uh, this is one painting that is quite large and it's an acrylic painting. Okay, so I'm going to put it here. I'm going to take it out of the tripod. You don't want to use this because if you use this, you this has an angle and then you will have to put the camera at an angle and that's just going to mess things up for you. So I'm going to take this out. I'm going to move some things around and I'll be back with the other painting and we'll go from there. Okay, group members, and I'm back. And what you will need for these uh, pictures is obviously a camera. Now, if you have a DSLR camera or a Minolta or anything that looks kind of like this, it has a wheel, a wheel here. If you, if you just got one of these from eBay or Amazon, they're great cameras, it's a great investment. And in the wheel, you just wanna put it on no flash, which is that one. I don't know if the camera is gonna be able to, to actually, but it's the one right next to the one with the green, that's the green knob, the A plus is the next next one, no flash. Okay, moving on. You're gonna need some lights. Now, these lights, lights have changed over the years. Way back, um, you used to say, give me a 25 watt bulb or whatever, or 50, 80. Uh, whatever you're using, but now with the new LED lights, uh, they seem to be a lot brighter and they seem not to get hot and and they last a lot longer. These lights, I was looking at the label, I really, I, it says something like 13 or 20, equivalent to 20 or something, but to me they look a lot brighter, like an 80. Um, I've seen uh, photographers use really bright lights. I mean, to the point, uh, you know, when you go to those uh, red carpet events, um, it's really bright out there. <laughs> you know, it, it's not really it's overkill, if you ask me. But uh, anyways, uh, you have to be careful about your painting. I have two paintings. Now, one painting is large, the other one is about 30% smaller, so we're going to go over that. Now, uh, these lights have some paper on top uh, to, for the light to be more diffuse, and uh, that's uh, in case the paintings have uh, some glare. Now, I'm going to position the lights and I'm going to move the camera so you can get a view from another angle. Okay, so I killed the lights from 
that's my right over there. It's a window from the outside. I'm getting light uh, because it's daytime, and I'm also uh, close this window to the left, um, blocked it with something, so you can see how bright it gets in here. So the lights. I'm gonna use here my laser to point out. The camera should be in the center. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that's the center uh, for the. Oh, this light. There we go. Uh, off the center, and the light should go around the picture like so. And I'm going to use a trigger to take this picture. And I'll take three pictures just to make sure. All right, for my second shot, I had to raise the painting, I had to raise the camera, and I had to pull back on the light just a bit, like a foot or so. Now I'm going to take the picture. Now I just squeeze this trigger and I stay away from over there. And I'll take three pictures just to make sure. A lot of times when you push the button, you, you shake the camera. And that doesn't give you a sharp image. Okay. Alright, I hope that helped you clear some things up and how to take some pictures of your artwork and you guys can always contact me if you need any help uh, regarding your uh, artwork website uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube